Hello, Case Armour from Leapfrog. Um, how are you doing, my brother? Oh, very well, thank you. So you had a long trip today to um, come for the wings. When did you start your journey? Oh, started six in the morning and then a 200 mile track down. Nice. So, yeah. so you obviously didn't have to wait, Cart. How are you feeling right now? Full and ready. Yeah. Could you, obviously, Thomas Daniel trains at your gym. Yeah. Um, so what do you, do you know much about Reese or has he influenced how you're going to train and prepare? Um, I have a slight rule that I don't watch my fighters, I don't know anything about them, my opponents, but my coach does. So he just told me what to do, I do what they told me to do, and that's it. Well, so you stay focused on your own game? Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, how do you feel in training has gone? Bearing in mind we had um, a lockdown and there's loads of restrictions. Well, yeah, training was fine. Training was fine. We've been, been out for three years from fighting game itself. But yeah, I feel stronger than ever was before. So it's good. I got a new coach. So do you feel being away from the game for so long has kind of allowed you time to recover and recoup or kind of risk? That's how you um, how you fight. Um, <clears throat> it made me smarter about it. Um, as I started coaching myself. Um, from my own gym and after just getting the knowledge of it. Before I was just a fighter, now I'm a coach and a fighter, so I need to know the game plan, know everything about it, learn how everyone fights and find ways to beat them. So make, I think it made me much smarter about the whole game. Do you think that's given you edge, the fact that you're a coach now and you have, you're looking at the fight game a slightly bit different? I think it did. I think it does. And also my, um, I think I, I've been doing this longer than Reese itself. So, yeah. Here's so your experience. your record, as I know it, you haven't been beaten yet. Not in K1. No, uh, it's 12 and 0. 12 and 0. Yeah. Excellent. So it's going to be a really exciting fight. Is there something that you want to say to the fans? What can they expect to see from you this Saturday? Um, I always go for the win. I always go. There for, I always go in. We go for the knockout, never leave it to the judges. Basically, and that, that's the game plan. So you just touch on it briefly. You said you switched gyms. Um, yeah. How how has this gym been for you? How has camp been in this gym compared? I've not compared to before. I don't want to say anything about the other gym, but how has it changed your game or has improved your game? I've never actually fought out of a K1 gym before. I've always fought out of, of, of Thai gyms. Out of uh, Chuck D Academy, Ken Ponte, um, before that, even an MMA gym. This is the first time actually training and fighting out of a K1 gym with a K1 coach. And it's made a big difference? It's made me learn to understand the sport more. So, yeah. Cool. Um, where do you see yourself after this fight? So, let's say this fight has happened and you just returned. Do you have an idea or is it just literally one fight at a time? Um, currently, I have a goal. I need to accomplish this to yeah. call out the next person that I want to fight. And um, personally, I don't like the next person that I want to fight. So I just really want to, I want to fight them, show them that they're not that great. I'm better. Yeah. So um, during this camp, is there anyone that you want to thank? Um, anyone you want to shout out? Um, yeah, all my sponsors have been helping me out and Gary, of course, um, for coaching me and everyone that's basically taken the beating from me <laughs> uh, to get ready for this fight. So yeah, big help, it was massive help. Nice. Have a little shout out to everyone in Newcastle that's going to come down today um, and then we'll, um, we'll end this interview. Um, it's from Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough, Mid Middlesbrough yeah. and York. Um, so yeah, if you, when, you, when you come down tomorrow, it will be fireworks going. And let's not forget, play Jack Ross quick on at the end. Nice. Well, thank you for taking time to speak to us. Right. Cheers, man.